then electron configuration and an orbital diagram so that you can see the difference. Because these are something that's common um, that some people will get confused. So carbon has the atomic symbol C and uh, the atomic number is what? One. Six. It is six. Six. Oh, it is six. So that means six protons six and six electrons. So our electron configuration will be 1s2. That one's full. 2s2. 2p2. How many valence electrons? Four. So we have two is our highest level, and we have two and two is four. So this is your electron configuration. Now if you're asked to do an orbital diagram, this is where you have your boxes. So you start and you can increase upward it's, it's easiest to go upward, you can go across, but if you try to think about it like a graph, and then this would be energy, you can have energy going up. A lot of ways to keep it consistent with the graph, you'll actually would have a box and then move to the right, some would have, because this would be, um, energy and then this would be as you increase across too so it would go like this but there's not enough room on the paper so if you just go straight up that's the usual convention so let me show an example of that so the 1s is going to hold a maximum of two electrons And you'll usually will have denoted as one up and one down because they have opposite spin. Um, it's okay if you draw the double-headed arrows. Um, and some text will go back and forth. But most of the time, they're drawn with like a half-headed arrow. But I'll take either way. Um, and then you have your box with your two electrons in it. Each one can hold, only hold a maximum of two. So this would be your 1s. When you get to the 2p, it holds a maximum of how many in the whole? Six. Six. Um, but you're going to have three boxes. Three of your boxes. And this is going to be an increase in energy. This is 2p. Again, I'm fine with you just writing 2p. Uh, but if you remember, uh, the p has three dimensions. Uh, so you could, some text will write 2px, 2py, and 2pc for the three dimensions. But 2p is fine. Now, we have used two electrons. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before you get to the 2p, you have the 2s, which is greater in energy than the 1s. It's still only one uh, box. It holds a maximum of two. That takes care of those. This holds a maximum of six. It's greater in energy than the 2s. We'll write 2p. And then remember the order of fill, they won't pair up until each one of the boxes holds an electron. And it doesn't matter where you start, just as long as you're consistent. So we only have two left. So they will not do this. That's unstable. They'll actually pair. It's easy. It's, uh, less energy, all types of reactions, almost everything you see in chemistry, 
um, they, you want to go with the least amount of energy. So it's going to be less energy for it to pair or to fill into another empty box if it's available. So if we look at the next one in the periodic table, which is nitrogen, nitrogen has seven. So to fill, we'll just keep continuing to fill this one as an example. You would fill that other third box. But then, oxygen. once you get to oxygen, then you can start to pair up. So then after oxygen, you have fluorine. And then you have neon. And then now you can see this would be your noble gas uh, has um, eight electrons in this energy level here, the second energy level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is where you have your octet. It has eight valence electrons. It doesn't want to give up or gain any because it's very stable like this. Um, once you go to the next one, which is sodium, you'd move into your 3S. So you have sodium, magnesium, Then we go aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon. So you can take your electron configuration and transpose it to an orbital diagram. But just remember, they're going to increase in energy, so it will look like this. I'm probably not going to go too much further than this. You'll probably see something like carbon, nitrogen, which is only going to deal with up to that level. But do know the difference between electron configuration and orbital diagram. 